Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I put some videos and uh, some pictures up so you guys could enjoy my trip to, well, so to show my trip to Florida because we moved here. So yeah, hope you guys will enjoy. Descent initiated. All systems normal. Current location, 500 kilometers south, southeast, coast of Louisiana. Projected mission diving depth, 1,200 meters. The oil production platform is coming into view. Today's mission objective, survey of local species populating this platform. Oil rigs like this one attracted harbor sea life. They become artificial reefs for coral polyps to attach and provide fish hiding places in an otherwise open ocean. Researchers prepare to survey local species. Activate data collection screens. Readout screen ready. Four fish species highlighted. Please count the number and type of all fish you see. Green sea turtle Atlantic species can be identified. We are now approaching the bottom of the sunlit epipelagic zone. Below 200 meters, the microscopic plants at the base of the ocean's food chain do not receive enough light to survive. We expect to see fewer fish at this depth. Sonar alert. Whale shark located. Port sun. Reference point. Whale shark. Size range, 3 to 10 meters. May weigh up to 20.6 tons. Non-aggressive, and feed by filtering tiny plankton. Small squid drones, controlled by a joystick at your stations. New mission profile, Topside asks that you pilot your vessel to the well manifold at the bottom of the platform. Check the pressure gauge, and reset flow if necessary. Your research ROV has four minutes of power at this depth. You will need to complete your mission within that time. Let's get a closer look at that. Let's close the map. Let's go home. Sonar and hydrophones picking up approaching biomass. Identity, sperm-whale, confirmed. Reference, sperm-whale. Ocean's deepest diving mammal. Size, 15 to 18 meters. Weight, 35 to 45 tons. Re-entering sunlit epipelagic zone. Temperature rising. Approaching Aegean. Go for diving. Contact. Odyssey Dump. Researchers and operators secure all stations and gather personal equipment. This is all Legos. That's taller than me. Way taller. Mm.
oxygen tank explosion. Come into balance from the near beginning until the very end of the mission. Working closely with Houston ground controllers, Hayes and his fellow crew members ingeniously converted their lunar module into a lifeboat, saving precious energy and oxygen, and ultimately their lives. I hope you did enjoy that video and slideshow presentation that I made and thanks to my sister Amber <laughs> she did do most of the videos I mean pictures I'm tired and so are you okay <laughs> Water. <laughs> I can watch it all day. <laughs> oh, no. uh, anyways, reclip, reclip. Just kidding. Anyways, so hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching.